My brothers and my sisters, we're just emerging from the sixth Sunday of the year, the sixth Sunday in ordinary time. We gathered at St. Elizabeth Seton and at St. Augustine to be nourished by God's word, to be fed by the fullness of God's Son, his body and his blood. And coming from God's word, we heard wisdom, and wisdom literature to be specific, from the book of Sirach. Now wisdom literature, it's usually very pithy digital statements, but packed with wisdom and insight. Here is the wisdom and insight. Trust in God, trust in God, and you'll live. My brothers, my sisters, there are times when we need to engage in different degrees of self-care, allowing those who can provide right care to do so. And that begins with the one who allows us to live, namely God himself. For all of us who are Christian, it's essential to our faith in the living Jesus, who's our brother and healer and savior, that we recognize that he accompanies us to care for us and to be with us. For me, in the concrete, this is how my faith is lived out, especially when living with a disease like alcoholism. So you realize my disease predates these years in Pleasanton, and as I want you to certainly know, it is not because of our tremendous parish. But as living with the disease each day, it's my goal that as I live with it and its impact on my life, that I continue to hone the skills which I need to make healthier choices. And this helps me respond to God's call, and we all need to be enabled to respond to God's call, to trust in God so that we might live, as Sirach says. Over the past six or so months, I've had some wonderful conversations with family, and as all of us, I hope, are privileged to have some truth-saying friends who say things lovingly and caringly and also hold us to accountability. This was also in conjunction with some great conversations I had with Bishop Barber. Taken together, I've been given an opportunity to step away from the parish for a short period of time, to work on the tools that I need to work on to continue to live well with alcoholism, to further healthy living. After this short time away from the parish, I will return as the pastor of the Catholic community of Pleasanton and heard that resoundingly and affirmingly from Bishop Barber. In fact, part of the brotherly and warm exchange with the bishop surrounded who would be the right fit to be temporary administrator during this short period while I'm away. And I'm really pleased that the bishop and I are on the same page. One priest's name surfaced, and the bishop and I just smiled at each other. I'm really pleased, overjoyed, to announce that Father Paul Vassar, who's the retired pastor of St. Leander Parish in San Leandro, will be with us for the weeks that I'm away. He's a great guy, wonderful man, a fine priest. You'll enjoy him immensely. And he'll be here with Fathers Michael and Kwame and Chris. All of our councils, all of our ministries will continue as they have been. There's no changes, there's just Father Paul Vassar's presence, which you'll love. I'd like all of you to know, my brothers and sisters, I'm blessed. I'm a blessed man. I'm blessed to be missioned to Pleasanton, to a parish that supports me and encourages me to shepherd. You're a community of life and love that cares and prays with me as I do the same for you. It's a gift from God. It's life-giving. My brothers and my sisters, so going full circle, self-care, it really comes down to self-care and allowing Jesus to care for you and to care for me. To care for me as Paul Minahan, to care for me as a pastor, so that together we can know Christ better, live as he calls us to live, and make him better known. For now, and until I join you again, Let's pray for each other. Let's pray earnestly and honestly for each other as we grow in faith, as he accompanies you and accompanies me, the entire Catholic community of Pleasanton and all that he's formed. He governs us and guides us, loves us, 
and cares for us because all that he formed is so very beautiful. I'm a very blessed and grateful man. Catholic Community of Pleasanton, thank you for all that you are. I'll see you when I get back.